Mr. President, I am from Tamil Nadu, a state of India with 80 million Tamils. Nearly 600 Tamil fishermen in the Indian side lost lives in Sri Lankan Navy's brutal assault. Recently, last week, on 6th March, 22-year-old Bridju, a fisherman from Tamil Nadu was shot in his neck and killed and injuring one another seriously. In 2011, January, two Tamil fishermen were killed. In the same year, four fishermen were brutally murdered in April, one by beheading, another by buried alive. Indian government's inaction and in collaboration with brutal Sri Lankan regime caused Tamil fishermen immense hardship. Protecting and promoting Sri Lankan government, the Indian state not only inflicted genocide on Indian Tamils in Sri Lanka, but also caused the deaths of 600 Tamil fishermen on Indian territory. This is simply state terrorism waged with impunity by the Sri Lankan government against Tamils, irrespective of their citizenship. Mr. President, following our previous statement in 2016 June, in relation to attacks on Tamil laborers inside India, in the state of Andhra Pradesh, involving the extrajudicial killing of 20 innocent Tamil laborers. A recent incident happened last week in which 179 workers were tortured and paraded half-nakedly, as videos have shown. In 2016 September, India's Supreme Court ordered Karnataka state to release Tamil Nadu's share of water. This resulted in xenophobic violence against Tamil people living in Karnataka state. Tamil properties and shops were targeted and burnt down. Karnataka and the Indian state did nothing to stop the violence nor arrested violators. Impunity granted to the racist looters is encouraging them to treat Tamils Gracias. as Mr. President, in Tamil Nadu, the United Nations General Assembly through Resolution 64 but 292 explicitly recognized human right to water, that clean drinking water sanitation is essential. The Karnataka state is violating this resolution and Indian Supreme Court, though passed the resolution, but the state is not adhering to it. Thank you.